Hey guys, my name's Chris and this is Financial Fitness and there has been an explosion in Baytown, Texas at an Exxon oil refinery and I want you to know about it, so check it out. There have been four confirmed injuries, three of which were life flighted and one which was taken to the hospital by ambulance. No fatalities have been reported. I really hate hearing this news because there's guys in refineries that get hurt, or it's usually burns and they're disfigured for life and I absolutely hope that is not the case here. But keep them in your prayers and in your minds because right at Christmas, I mean the day before Christmas Eve, come on man, this is a bummer. It happened at 1 a.m. this morning. Images of the refinery that produced more than 584 barrels of oil crude per day show part of the facility was on fire early Thursday morning. Roll it. Now, here's the deal. Gasoline futures rose more than a percent early this morning after an explosion. Okay, it's actually 1.5% right now. It's already shot up there. It's probably going to go a little more. Our oil has already been beat up by Bonehead and his paucity in the White House. Uh, you know, whoever's telling him what to do really hates oil, and they love buying it from overseas. So our dependency's over there. Our refinery's burning down in Texas. You know, this is a, a black eye. This is a black eye on our economy. I don't care if you like oil or not. We've got to have it. It's the lifeblood of the economy. I'm serious. It is the blood to our economy. And when it stops, we're in trouble. We're already in a little trouble. But I'm going to turn this into a positive note. That's my plan. So when this happens, when this kind of stuff happens to an oil refinery and the prices do this, they call welders, fitters, electricians, they call them in, bunches of them, and they will work seven days a week, 12 hours a day to get this baby back online. They wanted this done yesterday. I'm serious. They're already lining things up to get this thing rebuilt because this can't go on for long. They want this back going. So I'll do a little research and see if I can find out who's doing the job because a lot of you need to go to work, and this is a great place to start. And if you're a young man and you don't, exactly know what to do, you need to go get into these shutdowns because you will learn so much. You will learn, that's where I learned a, a lot. I mean, way more than school ever thought about. <clears throat> so on job experience. And when there's a disaster like this, they're gonna be snatching and grabbing for people that'll work. So this is Chris with Financial Fitness. I'm gonna be watching this. If I can find out who's doing the job, I'll let you know. I hope you have an awesome day. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. I will see you tomorrow.